You've probably studied another language at some point in your life. We, oui? See? Si? Yeah? Well, science is another language. Today, we're looking at the vocabulary of inheritance. In the DNA video, we learned that genes are sections of DNA that code for proteins. Some characteristics are controlled by a single gene, such as fur color in mice and red-green color blindness in humans. But most characteristics are as a result of multiple genes interacting, rather than a single gene. For example, height in humans. Some genes have different forms. We call these alleles. For example, the gene for fur colour in mice has got both a brown fur allele and a black fur allele, as well as some others. Alleles operate at a molecular level to develop characteristics. We call these physical characteristics phenotypes. So it's just the appearance of the organism. Here's a hint. Use the pH to help you remember that phenotype is physical characteristics. Genotype is then just the alleles that an organism has inside it. Remember, an allele is just a different form of a gene. So the geno part of the word just means alleles. Let's take a look at how alleles work. We'll look at the example of fur color in mice. Looking at these alleles and the word homozygous, can you work out what homozygous actually means? Pause, have a think, and press play when you're ready. Homozygous means having two of the same alleles. Here's a hint. You might have heard the word homosexual when a person is attracted to the same gender as themselves. So homo simply means same. What then do you think heterozygous might mean? Heterozygous means having two different alleles. And by the same token, being heterosexual means a person is attracted to a different gender than themselves. So hetero just means different. And you can see these are different. But what fur color or phenotype will the mice have? We need to know more about the alleles. There are two types of alleles. Dominant alleles are always expressed or shown, whereas recessive alleles are only expressed or shown if there are two copies of that allele, i.e. both of the alleles are the same. We represent dominant alleles with capital letters, whereas recessive alleles are shown by lowercase letters. You'll get told which allele is dominant and which is recessive, so you don't need to memorize that. In this case, black fur is the dominant allele, so it gets the big B, and brown fur is recessive, so it gets the small B. So let's look at the genotype of this mouse. It's got the big B for the black fur, and then it has a little b for the brown fur. Note that the capital always goes first. Since the dominant allele is for black fur, the mouse will have a phenotype of black fur. If we look over here, we can practice our genotypes. This mouse has two dominant alleles, so we write it as big B, big B, and the phenotype is black fur. But this mouse has two recessive alleles, so we write it as little b, little b, and the phenotype is brown fur. We can call the genotypes homozygous dominant, if there are two dominant alleles, and homozygous recessive, if there are two recessive alleles. Whew, that was a lot of information. Give these questions a go, but if you need to, go back and recap any parts. All right, number one, name a characteristic controlled by a single gene. This could be fur color in mice and red-green color blindness in humans. There are others, but these two are on the spec. Two, what is an allele? This is a different form of a gene. Three, true or false? Genotype is a physical characteristic of an organism. This is false. 
genotype is just the alleles that an organism contains. If we're talking about physical characteristics, we mean phenotype. And four, describe each of these genotypes as homozygous or heterozygous. Well, A is heterozygous because they're different. B is homozygous because they're both little d's. And C is also homozygous because they're both big d's. How did you do? Okay, now that you've got those keywords under wraps, it's time to learn how to use them. Click here to find out how to do Punnett squares, and here to subscribe if you're finding these videos useful. Thanks and bye!